Hello, chemistry students. Today we will be continuing the identification of unknowns experiment by reviewing the tests for aldehydes and ketones. These compounds are identified by the distinctive reactions of the carbonyl function. Let's get started. We will begin by reviewing the Tollens test. The Tollens test allows us to differentiate between aldehydes and ketones as most aldehydes reduce ammoniacal silver nitrate solution to give a precipitate of silver metal. The aldehyde is oxidized to a carboxylic acid, while ordinary ketones do not give a positive result in this test. We will practice the Tollens test with two known compounds, benzaldehyde and acetone. And we will begin by dissolving a couple drops of each compound in separate test tubes with a minimum amount of diethylene glycol diethyl ether. We will next prepare the reagent for each test compound by mixing one milliliter of Tollen solution A, a silver nitrate solution, with one milliliter of Tollen solution B, a 10% sodium hydroxide solution. A precipitate of silver oxide will form. We will then add enough 10% ammonia solution to the reagent mixture to just barely dissolve the silver oxide. Once the reagent is prepared, we will add our test compound solutions to the reagent mixtures and vortex. If a mirror of silver is deposited on the inner walls of the test tube, it indicates a positive test for the presence of an aldehyde. We will now perform the iodoform test using acetone as our test compound. And for reference, we will be using a negative control that will contain all of the reagents except for the acetone. The iodoform test allows us to determine the presence of a methyl ketone or a compound that is easily oxidized to a methyl ketone. Other ketones will also decolorize the iodine solution, but they will not give a precipitate of iodoform. We will begin by adding a small amount of acetone to a test tube and then dissolving the acetone in two milliliters of 1,2-dimethoxyethane. We will then add two milliliters of 10% sodium hydroxide solution and place the test tubes in a 60 to 70 degrees Celsius hot water bath. We will next add four milliliters of Lugol's iodine solution in one milliliter portions to the test tubes, making sure to cork and shake the tubes after each addition of iodine. We will then heat the mixture in the hot water bath for five minutes with occasional shaking. It is likely that the dark color of the iodine reagent will be discharged.
After five minutes, we will next fill the test tubes with deionized water to within two centimeters of the top. We'll then cork the test tubes, shake them vigorously, and allow the tubes to stand for 15 minutes at room temperature. After 15 minutes, this is what our test tube with the acetone looks like and what our negative control looks like. The appearance of a pale yellow precipitate of iodoform that will slowly settle to the bottom of the test tube indicates a positive test. Okay, students, you should now be familiar with how to perform the Tollens test and the iodoform test. This concludes this portion of the identification of unknowns experiments. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.